How you doing everybody? Uh, Randy Richard uh, in the shop. So I'm going to be uh, starting a new project, but I'm going to kind of do like I did one time on one of the other projects. Show you, show you the parts I made um, up front, um, a couple of the parts. Uh, I decided to add uh, a, part, a couple parts to this project, so I'm going to continue making those. But I'm going to show you a couple of the parts I already made so you have an idea of what the project's about. Uh, it's not overly complicated. But it's about mounting uh, chuck on a rotary table. And my uh, rotary table is a 10-inch rotary table. And it has a Morris Taper number 3 uh, center hole to it. So I'm going to make a Morris Taper number 3 uh, adapter to go in there. And I'll show you that. And it's going to be threaded. And then a threaded adapter so I can fit an eight inch four jaw chuck and a six inch six jaw chuck that I have for my Logan lathe. Uh, my Logan lathe spindle is a two and a quarter eight thread. So I'm gonna make a couple adapt, I'll make an adapter for that. And uh, I'm gonna make an actual um, mounting plate, uh, um, and, you know, chuck back plate for the four jaw one so that will uh, make it mount on there also. So let me grab the parts here, I'll show you. Okay, so here's a, the mounting plate or backing plate off the four jaw chuck. And you can see it's a fairly si large size bore. Uh, it's two and a quarter eight. And it has a register and stuff. So here's the first two parts I made. So this is the uh, Morris three number tape, Morris three number, Morris taper number three. Can't spit nothing out here. Uh, tapered, and I put a seven eighths register on it, and then this is three quarter ten thread up here. So this um, drops down in the drops down in the middle of the rotary table, and this uh, part of this about quarter inch of that register sticks above the table and the thread. I also, what I did is, down on the bottom, the taper only extends so far. And then there's another bore, and so there's a slight shoulder inside. And so I made a washer that goes in there, and we're going to use this um, socket head cap screw, which half inch 13, as a draw bolt that goes in there and pulls it, holds that in there nice and snug inside the bore, inside that taper, so it won't turn or get loose so that's a little draw bolt and then uh, I've made one of the adapters already this is the this is a two and a quarter eight on the outside and the three quarter ten in the registry uh, show uh, bore on the inside so I made that one these are I've already made these but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna start off uh, we'll start right off and we're gonna be making the adapter, uh, the Morse taper adapter first, and we'll be using the uh, taper attachment on the lance lathe. And then uh, we'll be uh, uh, making that, this this adapter. And then um, I have yet to make the uh, other adapter I'm going to make. But anyway, so this thread, this will thread on right on there, nice down tight against the top of the uh, rotary table. And then the chuck will be able to the chuck will spin spin on there, right? And the chuck will then seat uh, against this back part here, right here, the base there of the uh, mounting plate, the chuck plate, and will seat right against the rotary table. So uh, you have the then the four jaw chuck is mounted on the or mounted on the rotary table. So. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do though too is I'm going to make another plate uh backing plate for that for the four jaw chuck but it's the bore is going to be for the three quarter ten so it will it can it will go right on here and it's going to be about an inch tall probably end up being an inch tall inch thick plate because i'm going to use that in the future here i think i'm going to make some indexing plates like a super spacer type setup that you can put on to that one inch uh, onto the on onto the outside of this, 
but being one inch thick, there's some room there to work with and uh, mount an indexing plate on there and you can make it actually into a super spacer type setup. Uh, so that'll be it. That'll be kind of a future, another project. But uh, right now I want to be able to put a chuck on the plate uh, without having to buy another chuck. So uh, that's what I'm looking at doing here. And I, it's going to work out. Actually, it works out very nice. Uh, uh, so well, these are the parts we're going to be making. Uh, it's kind of a little different showing you the parts up front. Uh, <laughs> so uh, doing it this way. But uh, uh, the taper, uh, um, I'll tell you right now, the taper comes out uh, extraordinary well. Um, uh, at the end of the video, uh, after I cut the taper, I set this up on a sign bar and uh, we'll show you how, how well that angle came out. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, it's uh, going to be multi-parts. Try to keep the videos not too long. So. Uh, everybody, uh, you have a chance to watch them. Uh, so it's a lot easier to upload uh, short videos. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to do. So uh, thanks a lot, you guys, and uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have some good stuff coming here. It'll, it'll take a couple weeks to get all the videos shot and, uh, I mean, and processed and, you know, and edited and all that. It's a long process for me sometimes. Uh, so, uh, enjoy. That's all I can say there is enjoy. Thanks a lot, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments and uh, the new subscribers. And I uh, hope you guys uh, uh, learn a little bit or uh, get out in your shop, make you enthused to get out there and, and uh, hopefully do something to stay busy. So, thank you. I'm over on the Logan Lathe. The uh, piece I have in here is a one inch W1 drill rod. I already turned this down a little bit, um, but I'm not going to be using that. It's more for of a clearance so I can cut a taper, right? Anyway, so this is the piece I'm going to, at least I'm planning on making. This is a Morris taper number three. On here, we're right now. We're going to set up to drill and tap this hole. This is a half inch, will be half inch, thirteen inch and a quarter deep. This will end up being uh, three quarter ten thread on this end with a registering uh, shoulder. That will be going into the uh, center of the uh, rotary table, and then I'm going to make a couple mounts that will thread onto that. So I can easily mount a four jaw or a three jaw chuck right on my rotary table and it'll be centered up uh, each time. This hole here uh, will be for a, a draw bolt that will go in from the bottom of the rotary table, a uh, half inch socketed, uh, socketed uh, cap screw. Uh, so that will pull that nice and snug into the three, uh, Morris Tabor number three bore of the rotary table. So right now we're set up, we're going to drill and get this tapped so we can turn this between centers on the other lathe. That's where we're going. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna probably swing the camera around uh, so uh, you guys can uh, yeah, see a little better. Uh, maybe we'll get a good shot of uh, drilling. So we got the camera over here behind the lathe. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I got a quarter inch drill in there now. We'll step it up to a 0 .422 for a half inch 13 uh, thread. I have it in back here. Uh, you know, all these smaller legs. And, and, uh, lacking on the horsepower, you know, so this will take a little bit. And we'll, Probably kind of speed through a little bit of it. Uh, since I have this extension on here, I'm going to have to drill past that, so I need to drill two and a quarter inches. It's kind of deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this part I'll drill bigger, so I only tap the 
last inch and a quarter. So I don't have to tap the whole way. I'll drill this one, this one inch here, I'll drill a little bit larger. I've moved up the tear down to a 3 8 inch. I drilled a quarter inch hole, two and a quarter. Now we're going to start getting a little bigger. We'll drill this the whole depth also. So I'm up to a .422 drill. A tab drill for half inch 13. We'll drill this one all the way and then we'll open up this last half hole. I got a half inch drill. I'm going to go down an inch and a sixteenth. It's also going to counter uh, or chamfer, I should say. It should chamfer the other uh, bore down in there. So that's, that's the plan. This will give us clearance for the tap. And, Yeah, I hope that's enough. <laughs> now we're going to set up to tap it. I put a 916th. I drilled it to half, but it uh, could use a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to open it up to 916th. Okay, we're ready for the tap. Let's get right through there. And about it. <laughs> Got my new uh, number five uh, greenfield on there, and uh, we're just going to keep uh, rotating it around and back and forth until I get that tap. Of course, we don't have enough grip on on things, but. It'll just take a little bit. We'll get it. Okay, I got it tapped. I, I just uh, finished it up here with a bottoming tap. So, should be good. So, uh, I'm just going to clean up this a little bit because we're going to put a center in there for the uh, tournament between centers. Okay, that should be uh, 60 degrees. Um, now we can uh, take it out and uh, hopefully uh, get our taper cut. 